Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would just do a simple get ready with me chit chat kind of product review. I got some new things that I want to try out. Um, some of them have been out for a couple of months, some of them have been out for a couple of weeks. But I went to Ulta and I got some things that I'm dying to try. Um, thought I'd catch you guys up on what's been going on, why I've been kind of MIA. Um, fair warning. You might hear my daughter a little bit. She is sitting right next to me. So if you hear any little baby talk blabber, it's okay. It's just my daughter. I know she's right here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do just something kind of simple today. Um, I'm kind of just hanging out at home, so I didn't want to do anything too crazy. I like to use Pons. Um, this is for dry skin. I do have dry skin, especially since it is the winter here in Washington State. It's really, flipping cold <laughs> gonna go ahead and use a couple of moisturizers today just cuz it's been snowing the last few days it's finally stopped snowing um, so it's just been really flipping cold and kind of windy and let's face it if you have dry skin or you know even combination skin you know that it just it sucks um, I'm gonna also go ahead and just use this Nourish Organic. It's rose hip and rose water body oil. It's supposed to be a mist. I got it in an Ipsy bag ages ago. I noticed it works really well on my face. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys on why I have been MIA. Um, I had surgery two days before my daughter's birthday. So February 12th, I had um, what's called a umbilical hernia repair not removal repair because apparently there is a difference um and so what that is is basically i got it from being pregnant uh it's umbilical because it was literally where my belly button is and so what happened was when i was pregnant my abdominal wall didn't heal properly uh when you're abdom when you're pregnant your abdominal wall stretches and can tear and um, when you're not pregnant anymore, when you give birth, it's supposed to heal and um, fuse back together, basically. And uh, mine didn't. And my doctor told me it happens in about 30% of women, which is great to know. Like, really great. They don't tell you these things in, in school when you're learning about, you know, reproduction and all that whatnot. So basically, um, it was so painful for me. I had a hole in my abdominal wall. In November, it was about the size of a dime. And so basically what I did is I prolonged the surgery because um, I was working, didn't have time. Um, my boyfriend did not have time um, with work and all that. And so I kind of just pushed it off, didn't do it. The hole got bigger, more painful. Um, and so it grew up to surgery, which was February 12th. I had my uh, pre-op basically to determine if I needed surgery back in November. Um, and so by the time I got to surgery, it was about the size of a quarter. So imagine the size of a quarter in your, like right at your belly button, there's a hole with, and it's causing fat. Sometimes it can push your organs out, which is way worse. Thankfully mine was not, mine was just fat. I am skinny fat, I'm not as toned as I used to be in high school. So basically I had to have surgery, um, there's two ways to do it, you can either do a mesh. This is what my doctor said, so correct me if I'm wrong, but my doctor had told me that um, they only use the mesh when it's for a guy or a woman who does not want to have kids or cannot have kids anymore. So um, otherwise they have to use sutures so stitches and these are really thick s sutures and they begin dissolving around four weeks i will be three weeks post-op this upcoming monday it is thursday um and so yeah i have just been recovering at home basically you guys i've just been kind of chilling like a villain and just it's been, it's been tough. I'm not allowed to pick up anything. 
over 10 pounds. I just had my first post-op appointment though, and they just told me I can now lift anything under 15 pounds. So I got a five pound jump. I'm not one of those people who likes to have stuff done for me. I like to do everything by myself. I can't sit still. I just, I can't, I can't do it. Can't do it, can't do it. Like it physically makes me so incredibly bored. Real quick, the first new product that I got from Ulta is the LA Girl Pro Matte. I did get it in the lightest shade because I don't know my shade right now. I'm pretty pale. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and try this together. Huh, I don't know, it might match me. And I'm really excited to be filming again. I've missed you guys, I've missed filming. It's I love doing it, it's fun, therapeutic in a way too. So we're just gonna go ahead and blend that in. Adding a second coat to this side, cause let's face it, mama needs some extra coverage right now. Oh yeah, this is pretty, pretty close to my neck. So I told you guys about the surgery. So I've had to, I've lost like 10 pounds from it. Um, I had to really restrict my diet. I still kind of have to restrict my diet. Um, I've had to stay really hydrated. So I've been drinking Gatorade like nobody's business. Um, I had to eat soup for like the first two, three days because my body just could not handle eating anything else. I also got the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. Oh, so far I like this. So far, I like it. We will see. Um, I believe it's $8 at Ulta. So I had to eat lots of soup. Um, going through the surgery made me, you know, want to get on that health, health kick that I've been talking to myself about, basically, because I want to lose the last of the baby weight. It's been two years. I need to lose the last of the baby weight. I feel like I'm kind of just blabbering at this point. So I'm really sorry, you guys. Uh, next, I got the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I didn't get too dark of a shade since I am pale. So we're gonna go ahead and just... I did lose those 10 pounds from the dietary restriction, the soup, the salads. Um, I haven't really been eating any sweets. I'm not allowed to drink soda as it could actually bloat me and cause me pain with the stitches. Um, and I am an avid soda drinker. I'm not gonna lie on that. I drink soda like, like it's water. So that probably helped me lose some weight right there. I also wanted to let you guys know, um, I feel like I'm just all over the place with this video. Um, I want to let you guys know that I will be moving in the coming weeks to months, um, since it is March. And so I'm really excited about that. Um, I do want to give you a fair warning. Um, I do start a new job this upcoming Monday, March 5th. YouTube does not pay me. I don't have enough subscribers or viewers to get paid by YouTube, so I do still have a full-time job. I'm very, very excited because that way I can buy more products and hopefully I can possibly do something for you guys. That means I will have to work around a different uh, filming schedule, uploading schedule. Basically, just have to work around all of that. Uh, I will find a way. Don't you worry. I will find a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. And I will find that way. 
I do have some exciting things going on next week. I can't talk specifics right now, but I will be working on my first photo shoot um, for a magazine. And so I'm really, really, really excited um, for it to be published so I can share that with you guys. I'm just Things are happening for me in the makeup community and I'm honestly, I'm just, I'm so excited. Like, I didn't think I could ever get this far and I'm just so excited. And, you know, it's, it's crazy when you surround yourself with people who are positive and can think that you can do it and push you to be the best that you can be. I tell you, these Minions movies are so funny. But, um... Yeah, like I was saying, I've got some things going up I'm really excited about. I'm really excited when I'm allowed to share them with you guys. And, uh, yeah. Really excited. Once I get the all clear after recovering from surgery fully, it's a six-week recovery. So I'm really excited once I'm fully cleared so I can go back to the gym. wanted to talk to you guys also real quick about my nails. You might have seen my Instagram post. Uh, this nail polish is $2 at Walmart. Um, I just repainted them this color. Uh, this nail polish lasted me like almost two weeks before I started chipping and being worn in. So I'm really, really, really happy about that. Real quick, I did also get this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Sweep and Lock Setting Powder. I've never used it. First time, first time, here we go. It's more like a baby powder feeling, but it's not baby powder. Real quick, I wanna see, there is talc in here. Did not know that before. There is talc in here. So if you don't wanna use talc products, hey. don't buy this. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eyes. I wanna do something kind of a little bit darker today. Just feeling it, whatever. It's been a while since I've done something kind of dark. So. Go ahead and darken up. Watching this Minions movie like 50 million times. So I'm not gonna be putting on falsies today just cause like I said. <laughs> I am just staying at home. I don't really feel like putting on falsies, <laughs> especially with uh, wearing glasses. It's not very fun. Um, and so I am using this Lord & Berry eyeliner. I just added that to my top lash line in the outer corner, uh, my bottom lash line, about three quarters in, and then my lower water line. <laughs> and add my liner right now. So my liner's done, it's still kind of drying, so I can't move my eyes. First I'm gonna be going in with the ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Midi. I don't even know if they sell this anymore, so. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Benefit Highlighter. So far, I really like this foundation. Um, it's really, it doesn't even feel like I have foundation on my skin. It's, I would say it's pretty medium to full coverage. Um, I happen to really, really enjoy this foundation. I like it. And it's not cakey, it's not heavy. I, I love this, I think I like this a lot. This is the Tarte Tartist Glossy Paint. 
in the shade Obvi. And so that completes this look. Um, final conclusion on the new products. Um, I really like the LA Girl Pro Matte. I will definitely keep repurchasing it. It's definitely medium to full coverage, buildable. It's lightweight. And then um, I do really like the Makeup Revolution concealer. Um, I would compare it to the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, it's a little bit thinner. I wouldn't consider it as cakey either. Um, I really enjoy it. So I really love the fact that this is $8. I wish regular stores would sell it, not just Ulta, because like I said, it's a half an hour away. I don't want to drive a half hour. Absolutely love this. Recommend. I want to thank you guys so much again for watching my videos. Uh, thanks for being patient with me and for... <laughs> Uh, not caring that my daughter is kind of hanging out with me and you know wow wow can you come say hi can you hi. come say hi hi <laughs> hi still in pajamas <laughs> hi hi <laughs> and so I really want to go ahead and thank you guys <laughs> for <laughs> for hanging in with me tuning in with hi, me yay. understanding that I am a working full-time mom and also dedicated to YouTube so I really really thank you guys for you know understanding being patient with me What's wrong? <laughs> and just kind of hanging in there so go ahead and give this video a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe I do <laughs> I do want ah I do want <laughs> I do want to go ahead and do a giveaway. Mama, um, Mama, details of that will be announced Mama. in my next video, though. So, thank you again for watching. We're going to go ahead and say bye-bye and go finish watching the Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.